thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I want to premiere to you my paper doll sets. These are original artwork that's been created by me. They're hand drawn and um, the artwork is colored in and hand drawn by me. I don't use any computer programs. It's all drawing it with pencil, doing pen and ink to cut to make the black and white design and then different mediums to color in the images. So it's all original artwork. As you probably know from watching a lot of my other videos, I love making paper dolls. I use them a lot in my art journals and I make them as ornaments for my paper doll tree. So I have been kicking around for a couple of years some ideas on how to make my own sets and to make them really versatile and really fun and I've got some great ideas. So stay tuned and let me show you my ideas, tips and tricks. Each set that I offer comes in both black and white and colored. The reason for that is some people don't like to color. Some people like to get the sets already pre-colored. All they have to do is cut them out, assemble them with brads or with glue, and then decorate them. So adding things to them like ribbons and laces, beads, buttons, um, little fun things like uh, glitter and some Nouveau drops and changing them up and adding some more decoration to them. People, Some people like to do that and they don't like to do the base coloring. So every set is going to come in color that I've co chosen the colors for and then it's also going to come in black and white. The black and white set is super, super versatile and here's why. When you purchase a digital download, you pay for it and you receive a link that will give you the files that you can print. So you can print them as many times as you want to make as many dolls as you'd like to make. So if you print the black and white one onto say uh, 140 weight watercolor paper, then you can watercolor paint the whole image. So how fun would that be to sit down, make her look like she has a tie dyed watercolored painted shirt and just watercoloring in general to do the skin tones, the dresses and things is would be super fun. There's so many techniques you could use with watercolors. You could also print it onto mixed media paper and then you could use things like alcohol markers, um, Tombow dual brush markers that are water soluble. That'll have to be on mixed media paper or watercolor paper where you can use a water brush to spread out the colors and blend them out. Um, using things like Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2. I love that medium. I love to use that tipping off the crayon and coloring images. So if I used a mixed media or a watercolor paper in my printer and printed out this black and white set, then I could color them with that media. You could use anything you want. You could use water um, colored pencils. So you could color this, just put this onto a smooth 140 pound weight cardstock, and you could use colored pencils to color it. So you could use anything that you want, any type of media to color these images, which makes it really versatile. The other nice thing about having a black and white image is say you want your doll to have blonde hair and blue eyes, then you color it that way. If you want it to be a redhead with green eyes or maybe have brown hair and green eyes or black hair and brown eyes, you could do anything you want coloring it yourself. Same with skin tones. You could change this doll up to, to make it all different types of ethnicities based on what type of color of skin tone you choose to color it in. The face is pretty, um, I made her very nondescript so she really could work out any way you want to make her different ethnicities based on how you color the images. There's a, a set also that has all different hairstyles so you could put a curly hairstyle on her and make her have darker skin tones. There's all different ways that you could use it. It's going to be so super versatile. And the reason I choose not to put anything colorful in my backgrounds is a lot of paper doll sets are really pretty and they're really decorative when you see it for sale, you see the backgrounds and that's great. But think about this. If you're printing it out and you're using your own printer to print out the images either on an inkjet or a laser printer, you're gonna waste a lot of ink with this beautiful background that is just going to get cut and thrown away and so why waste your ink? So my choice was to make them with a very plain nothing background 
so that you're just focusing on the dolls and your printer ink is just going to printing these images. So I have some great ideas for how to use these sets and I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut them out and then show you some different ideas on how to use the black and white set to give you some really fun ideas for putting this base set together. So let's get started and have some fun together and create a paper doll using this brand new set. So here are the two sets, the colored one and the black and white one cut out. So if you put the outfit over the girl and line it up, that's what she's gonna look like in this cute dress. You could add a scarf, look how cute that is. Or you can put the t-shirt and the skirt. And again, add the scarf if you want. So that's just really, really cute outfit on this initial, initial kit. So before you would put the clothes onto the girl, you would want to assemble and put on the legs on the doll. That way, when you put the skirt on, you're, the skirt is going to get glued just at the top. And there is an instruction sheet that's included with your download. And it's going to give a place where the legs are going to freely move underneath. You won't see the brads. And the skirt will cover that up. So the legs will just move underneath. In the set, I've given two types of legs. There are straight legs that would just get attached at the top and they can move back and forth. If you want to attach them without brads, you can glue them into place. You know, put one out to the side and one straight down, however you want to use them. And you could glue them into place and they would just stay put. Or you could use them with brads and that'll make them movable but straight. And then there's also a set that is bendable at the knee so it gives you more positioning for the legs so you have two different sets of legs to work with the clothing that is already colored is cute just as it is but then if you want to add something to it and be a little more artistic you can take your paint pens this is a uniposca paint pen and you could go in here and you could add polka dots on every other line just to change it up and make this a striped and polka dot skirt. There's so many things that you can do to make this different and make it your own. But this is just to give you some ideas. So you could draw little straight lines and make little straight lines on it. You could make this a um, checkered skirt by drawing lines with a green pen the other direction. I'm just adding in the dots to make it a polka dot skirt, polka dot stripes. So look at how quickly I just changed that up and made it different. So you could just come in here with all kinds of paint pens and chalks your neo colors and you can just change this up if you want to add a little bit something else to what i've done on it look at that i just put a little orange dot in the middle of each one of those little flower buds and it just made it pop a little bit differently and then of course i always take a brush pen and i always always get rid of that white line and if the dress is yellow i use a yellow pen if the skirt's green i'd use a green brush pen just to get rid of the white edge, it makes your doll look so much prettier and a lot more finished. For another cute decorating idea, why not use your Ranger Archival ink, take the little t-shirt, use some little lettering stamps. These are very tiny little letters and a heart. And you could stamp right on the t-shirt like her shirt says, love. Look how cute that is. So now that's words on her t-shirt and then you could take the little heart. I think the heart's kind of big. I think I would just hand draw a heart, but you could use a little tiny heart stamp and some little letter stamps. And so now you've made her t-shirt say love. 
So look how cute that is. And you can put the, uh, the skirt over the t-shirt and have the t-shirt tucked in. You could put the skirt under the t-shirt and have the t-shirt outside the skirt. Either way. Works either way. And now let me give you another idea. So this is a super fun tip. Take the set that's black and white and cut them out and use these as a template. Grab some pattern paper like scrapbooking papers that has pretty small print or this is a great time to do some stash busting. Go to your scraps and keep your, all your little scraps. Dig through those and see what you can find because now we can make any outfit out of these scrap or these papers using these as templates. So if I were to make a dress out of this, what I would want to do is just put this down and take my pencil, draw my pencil line around it. And then cut that out. So look how cute that turns out. Now I've got this dress out of this cute pattern. It's adorable. So think of the options. I mean, <laughs> papers on, is limitless and you can change this outfit up. So now look at her cute patterned green dress. So you could take come in here now with this and take um, another piece of paper. Like even this is just a scrap and this came from a magazine and I could make like a little belt. Instead of drawing on the lines with the gathers, you could do that, but you could come in and make a little belt out of a cute pattern. Look how cute that looks. And then once you have it on here, you could fold it behind and look what I've got from a piece of magazine page and some scrapbooking paper. What a cute, cute dress I just made using that black and white one as a template. So it's really very versatile. You can change it up and do different things, decorate it different. You could glue on a couple of little micro buttons for doll making, um, put some, sew some lace to the bottom of this and make it lacy. So this is just so cute. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put this little belt on and just use my art glitter glue to glue the belt into place. on the front and the back. And I think I'm gonna add some lace to the bottom. So I just went to my lace stash and I've got this really pretty little gathered piece of lace. Look how cute that would be at the bottom of this to make this dress fancy. Look at that dress, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down on my sewing machine and do a quick zigzag stitch across it to finish off this little dress. So here's what it turned out like. This is just using a zigzag stitch and stitching that on my sewing machine to the bottom of the dress that I made from using this as a template and some pattern papers. And you, if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't like to sew, you could always do it with uh, glue as well. So, but this is just to give you some ideas. So look at that cute, cute dress that I made. Cute. So. If you see, this this makes this set super versatile. You can change up these. You can add some embellishments to the ones that are already colored. You can use these as templates to cut them out. Let's try another one. Let's do a top and a skirt. So let's make a skirt out of this pattern paper. Actually, no, let's use this cute stripe. Let's make a skirt out of this. And another tip is if you don't want to have the pencil lines on the front or you want to use a pen, Leave it this faced up just like it's supposed to be, put it onto, slide it onto the back, flip over your piece of paper and trace it. That way it'll be going the right direction and your pencil lines will be on the back side of the paper instead of the front side. Look at this adorable skirt that that made. So cute. Love it. 
So hopefully this is giving you some ideas. And look at I can pair that with the t-shirt. Look how cute that is. So just out of some pattern paper and some rubber stamps on the colored image, look at this cute outfit that I created. And again, you could put that behind and tuck the shirt, have the shirt be tucked in, then maybe add a little belt. Super cute, lots of fun. So what you could do is print your black and white set, cut these pieces out, write the word template on them, and keep them in just a little Ziploc baggie so you've got some clothing templates to use whenever you feel like it. And then the second set that you print, you could color and use for, um, use them as, as you color them. Having a separate set, just using them as templates would be great. And same thing you could do like with the backpack, you could do that and then you have a pattern to backpack if you wanted to use pattern paper for that. So these would make great templates to just put aside and keep to make all different kinds of outfits for your base set paper doll. And now let's move on to hair. I cut out the hair style that comes with the base kit and now I'm taking a brush pen. This is my favorite one to use. Ecoline brush pen number 407. It's a deep ochre. And I'm going around those edges to get rid of the white edge. And then I decided to just make the underneath hair a little bit darker too by just adding a few little brush strokes in there. So you could come back in with colored pencil and add some shading, more shading. I mean, it's already colored and it already looks nice, but I'm just, I'm just playing. Okay, so then what you wanna do is, if you can see right in here, there's a darker line right along her hairline. So what you want to do is take your X-Acto knife and you want to cut that on the hair. So let's move in closer and you just want to go along that line with your X-Acto and just cut that little line. So what that's going to do is allow you to tuck her little head right up into that hairstyle. I've cut out the girl's body, her torso and head, and I'm gonna go around the edges of that, get rid of the white around those edges. There we go. Okay, and now I've gone around the edges of the hair and I've cut my little slit. So then what you do is you just slide the head up into the hairstyle. And you put the hairstyle on the girl. And if it doesn't fit down quite enough, it's because I didn't cut far enough with my X-Acto. So I just need to make a little bit bigger of a cut. You don't want to cut it all the way across because then you'd cut off the bottom half of the hairstyle. So now what you want to do is to just slide her head up into the hairstyle. Look how cute that is. So now she's got her little hairstyle. And I think what I want to do is make the hair underneath around her neck a little bit darker. So I'm going to take that off and make it darker. And I also want to do that edge where I cut with my X-Acto because you don't want it to show white. So I'm going to take this and just color in here along that edge. So when you put it on, you don't see that little white edge that you just cut with your X-Acto knife. Look how cute her little hairstyle becomes. Cute, super cute. It just fits right on. And then you would just put a little dot of art glitter glue or whatever kind of glue you like to use to just anchor it into place once you get it on her head the way you want it. Super cute. So again, you could use this one that I colored or you could use the black and white one and you could color it a different color, make her hair blonde, make her brunette, make it black, make her eyes any color you want to have them. So you can either use this set, which is the colored one, or the black and white one and make it any color you'd like. That's what she looks like with her cute hairstyle. It's time to choose which legs you use. If you use this set, the wider part is the upper part of the leg. This is the knee. 
where you would put it together with a brad. So you would cut out all those pieces, put a brad in here, and then put a brad here to attach the leg behind the doll like that. For this one, since I decided to go with that dress I made with the lace, I'm going to use just the long straight legs, but I'm still going to make them movable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those out and attach them to the doll. Her legs are cut out and I went around the edge with my brush pen to get rid of the white lines. And you want to take your paper piercer and pierce a hole through where the dots are on the body and on the top of the legs. And that's going to make it nice and easy to put your brads through. And you want to use mini brads or you can use glue. If you don't have brads, you could just put these legs behind and you could put them in any position. So you could have her tilted like this. That's kind of cute. Have her anywhere you want and then just put glue and glue them into place. But if you want them to be movable, of course, you're going to want to use brads. So you go through the torso first and then the leg and then fold out the brad. And now she has a movable leg. So now you can move her legs. It can cross her feet like this. Have her leg one leg behind the other. Have her kicking her leg out, tipped over to the side. So movable is really fun because it gives her lots of positions. And then when you put the outfit on, you just don't want to glue down. You only want to glue from the waist up so that the outfit will be on the body and the legs will be movable underneath. If you glued it all the way down, then your brads wouldn't move. So that's where her little dress is going to go. Look how cute that is. Just so fun. And then you want to pick out which arms you want to use. So you can use straight arms. And those arms are just going to go down to her side or move out to the side, but be straight. You could use a combination of one arm that's bent and one arm that's straight that goes down to her side. So you can use it in all kinds of varieties. Both of the arms could be bendable. One straight, one bendable, both straight, anything you want. So you choose. And the hands are positioned too so that she can hold things in her hands. So let's go ahead and show what that looks like. So I've chosen a straight arm to go on one side and a bent arm on the other. So I'm going to just make my paper pierced holes to attach it to the body. And then I'm going to use brads to put that together. But before I do, on this hand, I want to have this hand holding the cell phone. So if you can see, you could put it in her hand just like that. But to make it even better, you can take an X-Acto knife. And if you cut along the edge, the inner edge of that pinky finger, right out to the edge, and cut out that little section in between the fingers like that. I know that looks funny, but now you can slip that cell phone into her hand like this and it looks like she's holding it. You can even put it like this. So it looks like she's holding that cell phone. And then you just want to get it in place the way you want it and then glue it down. So here's what that looks like with the cell phone in her hand and a straight arm and a bent arm. And now with the backpack, I've cut that out and then you want to take an X-Acto knife and cut out these two little spaces in here. Now I can add that backpack by just slipping her arm, her hand through and then putting it up on her shoulder like this. And then that backpack is on her shoulder. So let's glue that into place just with a little dot of glue here to hold it. Super cute, super fun. 
So here's how I've decorated her. I put on her backpack, I made the dress, and put the cell phone in her hand, have a bended arm with a cell phone, added some lace. So here's my cute little paper doll. So it's very versatile, and you can change up the outfits and make it different depending on how you want her to look. And now I'm going to go on to hairstyles. And I decided to put the scarf on, and if you put glue just on the part that goes right on her neck, and then a little bit of glue down here, and I'm putting it right over her backpack strap, layering it. But if you do this like this, then it even hides a little bit of the top shoulder, but the arms still move. But look how cute that is to have a little scarf on her outfit too. So it just makes it more and more layered, like the backpack is on her shoulder, the scarf is over the backpack, and it just makes it a little more dimensional and layered. Kind of cute. And of course when you do this you're always going to have a spare set of arms and legs, so put those into a little Ziploc bag because they can be used at another time. So I'm going to put those aside and these clothes aside that I've created and my little templates that I made and then I'll have that for more paper dolls. You could print out another another girl, another body, use a different hairstyle, put um, make her eyes a different color and make her totally different, but still use some of these pieces that you have didn't use the first time around. Things that you can use over on more dolls to create more dolls. This is the hairstyle set number one. So it's got all different hairstyles, ponytails, curly, long and straight ponytails, braids, space buns, a little pixie cut. It's got all different hairstyles and it's got some cute little things, uh, bows that you could put at the bottom of the braids or on the ponytails, a bow that you could put on top of the head, behind the head, just a headband, flowers you could put in the hair. And then this one is the one that's colored. So I've colored them pre-colored for you. But same as the base set, you can color these any way you want. So say you want to design your doll and you want her to have... Um, you want her to have the braids, but she, but you want the braids to be black hair and her eyes to be green. Then you would use your black and white set and you'd color your base girl, make her eyes green, color the braids, make them whatever color you want, black, brown, any of these hairstyles you could color the way you want it to be. So say you are making a paper doll to give to someone as a gift. You could make it kind of look like them, so you could pick out a hairstyle that sort of resembles their hairstyle, color it to the same color as their hairstyle, give them the same color eyes, and just kind of create your own. So this is set number one, and there are 13 different hairstyles, and then of course you get the other hairstyle that's with the base set, so that's 14 different hairstyles to play with. And again, they're in color and black and white. So let's go ahead and show you how to put them on. So with all of them, it's the same thing. Where this is a darker line in here is where you would um, want the cut to be. Like if you wanted this girl to have her bangs to go over her head, you'd cut over this ed over to this edge of these bangs with your scissors or exacto when you cut that out. And then um, the bangs would be across her face. So let me cut that out and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to take my pens and color this uh, girl that is in the black and white set. I've cut out the Space Buns hairstyle and now I'm going to go around those edges, take away those white edges, make it look finished using my little brush pan underneath the little bangs and the inside. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and where this bang 
and is I'm going to cut across make it nice and jagged like the picture just going in and out to make it look kind of jaggedy but I'm going to go right across to that edge of the bangs so you leave the rest of it intact and you just cut that little bit out and away now you can slide your paper doll girl up into the hairstyle. And look how cute that is. She's got space buns. Super cute. And bangs. So all these hairstyles are like that. You would just cut along this edge right here and then slip the head in same thing you would cut into here where this is it goes behind and then it's going to make it look like it goes behind her ear this one goes on top of her head so there's you just basically in this one you cut the whole thing out and put it over her and let's see yep they're pretty much all the same where they where you just cut that edge cut that little cute little edge and then slip the head in and the head will fit right inside that shape. So the hair set number one is really versatile because you can use the colors that I've created or create your own colors. And now let's move on to accessories. So this set is called the accessories set. It is hats and glasses, purses, shopping bags, bows, scarves, a little bird that could sit on her hat or on her shoulder, a bow that can be used um, behind hats or in front of hats, on the side of hats. So this bow is drawn specifically to be able to use on all the different hats. Um, this bow can be used on the hats as well. There are butterflies that could be popped up and put on her on her shoulder, on her hat, um, a crown, all kinds of things, a baseball hat, a winter hat. So these are the accessories and it also comes in colored images as well. So you get black and white and colored. So again, if you wanted this cute scarf, but you wanted it in purple, you could print it out and color this and put it in purple, whatever color you wanted. Same with all the accessories. You can color them yourself, print them on watercolor paper and watercolor paint them, put them on mixed media paper, use your different markers, colored pencils, whatever you want, or just use the pre-colored images. So let's go ahead and try one. Let's take this baseball hat and I will cut that out and we'll add that to our girl. So I've cut out the baseball cap and I can put it right on her head and let me see and get my glue. So I just put a little bit of art, art glitter glue on the back side and I'm going to put this hat right down on her head. How cute is that? So now she's got a baseball hat on and her backpack and her iPhone pretty cute and the hat it leaves enough room on this hat where you could put put your favorite sports team or words you know you could write in words and you could put anything you want on that hat to really design that baseball cap into um, any baseball cap that you'd really like now tip for the glasses either pair of these glasses if you use the sheet hole leave the whole sheet hole like this take your exacto and cut out the center of either one of those pairs of glasses put a piece of acetate or scrap plastic from packaging behind it then trim out you know glue it to the back then trim out the glasses all at one time the glasses and the plastic then the glasses are going to have little lenses and when you put them on her face they're going to show the glass eyeglasses will show through. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've cut the centers out from the glasses like this, leaving it on the page. It makes it so much easier. And now I'm going to take my pen and color that inside so that white doesn't show. You definitely have to do that next. 
Now I'm gonna take this little piece of scrap plastic, it's just from packaging. I'm gonna flip this over, put some art glitter glue all around it, like this. And lay that piece of plastic down. Give it a little tap, and now I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so now I'm going to just take my scissors and cut this away because it'll be easier to cut out those glasses if it's not connected to the page. So now I'm just going to fussy cut out the glasses. And so you're cutting the cardboard, and, I mean the, um, you're cutting the paper and you're cutting the plastic all at one time. When you're done, what you're going to be left with are these cute glasses that actually have little lenses in them. And when you put them on your paper doll, oh my gosh, so cute. They're just so cute. I love doing this for paper dolls. I've shown this before in some of my other videos, but if you're new to my channel, maybe you haven't seen that yet. I have a whole bunch of videos on making paper dolls and making them, decorating them in really fun ways. And they're a little tricky to cut out a little bit. You need really good sharp scissors. I'm using the small Tim Holtz scissors and they work really well for cutting these out. And my dog is crying because he wants his dinner. So here's my cute little set of glasses. And you can see the glasses in them, the plastic. And then go around your edge with your brush pen to get rid of the white edge and they are just the cutest glasses ever so cute so now you just want to put a little dot of glue on each end and in the middle just little bits it doesn't need a lot to hold it on the doll so just a dot here and a dot here and a dot here And let me grab my tweezers so I don't mess that up. And then I can put it right on my doll. And they've been drawn to fit perfectly on the face. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. So stinking cute. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. It's just so much fun. So look at that, she's got glasses, she's got peepers. That little bit of glue didn't stick down good enough, so let's put a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It looks so cute on her. She is obviously looking like a college student, which you could, it, you know, it just turned out this way as I'm decorating, but look at those cute glasses with lenses, baseball hat, cute backpack, scarf, little dress we made out of pattern paper. She's holding a cell phone. She's got movable legs that you can position and cross them. And this arm can go out to the side or even behind her back. Cute. So that's part of the accessories package is the glasses. And then for things like this, you're going to put the hair on the doll. Whatever hairstyle you choose, you're going to put the hair on her head. And then you're going to trim this out and you're going to use your X-Acto to cut this. 
and slide the head with hair into the hat. And then if any sticks out, you just trim it off so it doesn't show. So I'll show you that next. So I cut out this hairstyle from the hairstyle set. And you can put it on her head like this so it comes in front of her ears on both sides. So you can have it like this. You can put it in front of her and then tuck one side behind like that. The hairstyles are, are designed to be very versatile like this so that, see, you can put that side behind. Every time you do it, you can make it look different. So you can really change these up and make them look different. You can also stick her ear out like this and have it be like this with one ear showing. So very, very, very versatile. So what you want to do is you want to decide how you want the hair and then you're going to glue it into place and then put the hat on her head. And here's another tip. Whatever color hair you decide to use on your doll, take a colored pencil and just lightly, lightly, lightly add some color to her eyebrows that match the hair because normally hair matches eyebrows. So if you just take a little bit and add a little color to those eyebrows, it just makes your doll look even better. So here's how I put the hair on the doll. I put it behind and in front and then I cut out this hat and I cut this area and when I tried it on her head it is a little bit small, but that's not a big deal. You can just take your X-Acto and cut your section a little bit wider. So a little bit wider than what I drew, because it depends on the hairstyle that you've chosen. So now it should fit just fine. And I could go a little bit tiny, a tiny bit more on this side. Like that. You just kind of have to cut that little slot so that her head fits in and the hat fits on down on her head right. Look at how cute that is though. Look at that. So she has a hat with ribbons. You can put the ribbons in front like that and tack them down with a little bit of glue. Look at how cute that is. So the hat is from the accessories set. The hair is from the hair set. So as you can see, these are so versatile. The way I've designed them, the hair is really versatile and the hats are versatile. And then having a plain set that you can color any way you want. You can have, have it be in any color. You could make this a blue hat, a purple hat. I did it in browns. This is on the colored set and then made it look like it's kind of got a straw hat pattern to it. I haven't done the color in her eyes yet, but that's how this one is turning out and each one turns out different depends on how you put it together and what you decide to create. So since I started working on this girl I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish her because it's just too cute. I'm gonna put that love t-shirt on her and I slipped it underneath her hair and it covers the word love so what I'm gonna do is to just take my scissors and trim her hair and just trim it so that that love word will show and her hair is still out in front see and now the word love shows so I just trimmed off that piece of hair and you could always take that little piece and then you could add it over here and glue it behind and it's just gonna make it look like even fuller hair so I'll probably do that with that piece I'm using the love t-shirt and the cute striped skirt that I made using that piece as a template and I decided to use the legs that are bent at the knee so I'm going to put a brad I'm going to put a brad and put these legs together and these arms together and then show you uh, an idea for attaching the arms I also wanted to show the bow that's in the accessories kit. Here's the long bow and this is made to be really versatile. So here's one of the hats, the wicker hat, the um, little sunbonnet. You could put the bow here on this bonnet 
and it'd be in the front of the hat. You could put the bow here and it could be behind the hat. You could put her skirt with her shirt tucked in, if you put the skirt over the shirt to make a little tucked in look, you could put the bow here and you'd have a ribbon belt. So this bow is really, really versatile. It can go on or behind any of these hats. So on the top hat, it could go on it or behind it. Same with this hat. It could go off to the side like this. It could go behind it. You could tip it any way you wanted to tip it. So you've got that really versatile little bow. And then I think I'm going to use the little bird. So I'm using the hand that's like this and I'm going to put this bird so she's got a bird sitting on her arm. So I'll go ahead and put that together and then show you what it looks like. So you want to put together your legs first. I put the brat at the knee and then onto the body of the doll. So there's her movable legs. This arm, instead of putting a brad through it and making it movable, I just put it in place and put a dot of glue. So that arm's going to be uh, permanent and then this one is the movable arm. So I've put a brad through that and you want to poke a hole through your body and put your little mini brad in and put this on before you put the clothing on because that way the little t-shirt is going to cover up those brads and you won't even see it. So put your t-shirt on like this and see how it covers up. Put the arm on top and it covers up that little shoulder and you just want to glue it and tack it down but not where the arm moves. So you have to keep that part free so you don't impede the brad. So you just kind of put it in place. And then what you can do, so when you put this shirt on, see how the arm is sticking out just slightly? You can just take your scissors and just trim that little bit away. Trim that little piece off. making that shoulder just a little smaller. So now you don't see it behind the t-shirt. So now I've got her arm that's straight, her arm that moves, her hand that moves, and I'm gonna put her little skirt on. And the same thing, you wanna put it on and not cover up the area that has the brads. And I'm gonna put it on, I think, underneath so the t-shirt is on top. So you just wanna put a little glue along that top edge, slip it into place, and press down. And there you go. She's put together with her little outfit. Now I'm going to put the little bird on her, the back of her hand, just with a little dot of glue, so it looks like the bird is sitting on her hand. Look how cute that is. Adorable. She's got a little bird sitting on her wrist. Her t-shirt says love. And she's got a skirt that we made from paper. Her little hat. And her legs move so you can position them. And there's another one. So the possibilities are endless. It depends on how creative you want to get, the papers that you use to make outfits, the way you want to decorate it, if you want shorter tails on your little ribbons that I've created, then just cut them off and make the ribbon tails shorter. So it's very versatile. And then here's our girl that has the dress that we made. And now let's, next we'll show how to use the shoe images. And I took that piece of hair that I had cut off of this edge to expose the word love, and I tucked it underneath and put it on this side and see how that just adds to more flowing hair out the side. So I've done that with a lot of the hairstyles where you can change them up and move hair position around and I'll show you that in one of the upcoming kits how you can use the hair in different ways. 
So next are the sets of shoes. Again, it comes in black and white and images colored. It also comes in a set of 10 styles of shoes that are for the straight legs that are not bent at the knee and then the bendable legs because the feet are positioned differently. So there are separate sets of shoes for each style. So if you decide to use the legs like this that bend, you'll want to choose shoes that come from the bendable legs shoe section. So let's go ahead and pick something out and try it on. What do we want to put on our girl? How about some little blue sneakers? So I'm going to cut those out and show you what to do. Here are the cute little sneakers cut out and I took my brush pen and went around the edge, got rid of the white edge. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of art glitter glue on the back. Put them in place on the feet. So cute. And then she looks like she's got on some sneakers. And then for the little added touches, I took some really fine white string and made two little tiny bows. And I'm going to just put a dot of glue and add a little bow to each one. And it'll dry really fast because art glitter glue sets up pretty quick for things like this. So look what you have. Look at those adorable little sneakers. For the next one I chose something out of the straight leg shoes set and for our girl here that has her backpack and her iPhone and her glasses and her baseball hat. I ended up putting Crocs on her feet. So look at her Crocs. So cute. So that's how the two sets of shoes work. You just have to decide which legs to use and then choose which shoes go for that set of legs. So what I've shown here is just to give you some ideas of how to use the different features, the different items, the different things like hair and clothes, make your own clothes. They're so versatile and you can use any art supply you want depending on what type of paper you print onto. So watercolor paper to paint them or any other kind on mixed media paper. Use really good 140 pound paper to print your images onto. And the designs lend themselves to being endless to how you put them together and what you make them turn out to be. So Justine's adventures, where is it going to take her? Where is this girl going to go? Does she maybe a college student? Is this one a bird watcher? Is she out in the park and she's doing bird watching? What adventures is she going to find today? So there will be a link in the description box below for the collections. So each of the collections are available individually and the, each one comes in black and white and colored. There's the shoe collection, the accessories that has hats and accessories, the hair that have the different hairstyles, and then the base collection where you get the body image, the arms and legs, and an outfit um, in the original base collection. There's also going to be a bundle, so if you don't want to purchase them separately and you just uh, and you want to get them in a bundle deal, you end up getting one one image collection for free with the bundle deal. It's up to you if you want to purchase separately or purchase them all at one time. And next what will be available are themed, themed collections. So stay tuned and I will show you the next one which is an Easter image collection and I'll show you some really fun ways to use that and decorate it. And then there's going to be a mermaid and a fairy collection that are all going to be premiered this week. So stay tuned. And these two sweet girls that were created today in this demonstration will be available and to purchase um, and it's on first come first serve basis. So there will be a link in the description box below for where you can find these two cute paper doll images that are already created and ready to go into a journal or a book or make into an ornament.
So thanks for watching. I hope you found Justine's Paper Doll Adventures interesting, fun. Maybe you learned some tips, tricks, and ideas. And I hope you join me back again to see the new collections coming soon. They're going to be lots of fun with lots of mixed media ideas for decorating. And we'll see what next adventure Justine is going to take. So go make some art and some paper dolls and have fun because art soothes the heart. Mm -hmm.